What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a wow. For a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So I have a Jarito here, which is a Mexican soda tamarindo flavor. Never had it before. Okay. It's good, but I'm surprised you got that because you don't like that. <laughs> don't tell me this is not a twist off one. <laughs> Bro, I don't have a bottle opener. I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink. I gotta Use get my keys. Use a damn lie. Aha! He's gonna show y'all his trick that he's so proud of. <laughs> Give me a second. I can get it. Give me a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna get it. Ten years like tail. You think this is easy? I'm gonna mess up the key. Mm hmm. Why is the drink on your side? Say. Why is the drink? Say. Let's see. Let's see. Tamarindo flavor. Never had it. Let's see. <laughs> I know you don't like it. That's interesting. Hold on. It's not. It's not nasty. That's like my kind of flavor, like bitterish. It's not bitter. You want to try it? No. No. Okay. All right. Good. I wasn't sharing anywhere. Okay. So here we go. Berea tacos. Okay. Babe, let them know what we're talking about today. So first of all, we haven't had burrito tacos since Jersey. Right. So we have a lot to compare it to just because Jersey has a really good food because it's very cultured versus Florida. is There's not a lot of culture out here. There ain't. <laughs> but today we're just going to be doing a mukbang and we're basically going to be doing life update with you guys. Like talking to you about, you know, what's been going on in our lives right now, our thoughts and all that stuff. So let's Janice just wants to have a baby. All right, so we're gonna start with that. Goodness Yeah, gracious. let's just start with that. Let's get right into it. So all go right. ahead and tell them how you're feeling. <laughs> what do you mean, how I feel? Go ahead, let them know how you want a baby all of a sudden, how you're like, yo, like, just like, you know, go ahead, daddy, do it. What the? First of all, I'm not saying that. We we're supposed to try this together. They're good. They're good. They're not as good as Jersey, but they're not nasty. They're good. Like, I'd uh, get it again. I got it again. I'm disappointed. Mm mm. Okay, I don't know like I don't know if it's because like a lot of my friends are pregnant right now I'm getting super baby fever and what's crazy is that for years I've been super scared to have a child because I just feel like mentally I just don't think that I'm like ready to have a baby just because I, I feel like I need to sort through some trauma You know what I mean? <laughs> what tra We're not going to get into it. I never really felt like I was in the state of mind where I'm just like happy and like 100%. So I wouldn't want to like have my stresses on my child. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like working through a lot of stuff of trying to let go of things that hurt me in the past. I'm really trying to like put myself in the perspective of like if I had a child, I would honestly be so happy because I feel like they would just take everything away like all of the sadness all the pain all the hurt all the trauma like it just will leave my body because i would care 100 percent about my child but yeah so i don't know i guess that's what i've been thinking about lately would you say you're ready for a child right now like if you were to get pregnant right now are you ready i think so technically you're never ready but like you yeah. know what i mean i think i just need to do a lot more research you know because there's a lot of things that i don't know about just like Things, there's just things that you know pregnant people go through that you just don't know. What do you what are you looking at me like that like for? What, what do pregnant people go through that what we don't know? Babe, there's a lot of things that pregnant women go through that a lot of people like what? Babe, there's just certain things like that they don't tell you about being pregnant. I see a lot of TikToks that they're like, oh, they don't prepare you for this, they don't tell you about this, and it's a lot of stuff. But are you ready to be a dad? Because that right there just shows me that I don't know. All right, see, a lot of dads are clueless going into parenthood. Mm -hmm. That's normal. So is the mother. All right. Mm. As far as am I ready? Technically, you're never ready. But yes, I am. I really am. I'm ready to see a little junior me running around. All right. Uh -huh. And I'm ready to see a little junior you running around saying, Daddy, can you put on the tutu and play fairies with me? Yes, I will be a fairy just for my daughter. And I'm going to teach my son how to do burnouts at the age of like two. No. And this is going to be a great life. And then we live happily ever after. That's not how that's going to go. Why not? What's the issue? My child is not going to be racing Why like not? you. Why not? What if I get him to do it legally? Like NASCAR. Mm -hmm. That's fire. That's just scary to me. I, it I think scary, it's very it's dangerous. Fun. It is very dangerous, but it's fun. Mm -mm. You, you know, I'm not even going to say that. Are you ready to be a mom? Are you ready to like clean up diapers and like pick up toys and all that? Mm -hmm. Give bottles, breastfeed, all that good stuff. 
Only thing I'm really scared of is breastfeeding. Why? Because it's painful. Is it really? Yeah. You see what I mean? Bro, I'm not a girl. I wouldn't know. Mm -mm. I don't have pregnant friends. I have guy friends. I don't know. I just like, I think I'll get through it. I'm learning that no matter how much I'm scared of things, I just get through it. Like, especially like during this whole endometriosis process, <clears throat> I've gotten through literally everything. I know the day's gonna come where you get pregnant. And the fact that you have stage four endometriosis and you're gonna be able to get pregnant is gonna be like, not a slap in the face. It's gonna be like a message to all the girls out there who have the same thing and be like, yo, it's possible. Just have faith and mm -hmm. practice. And practice. Now, you know what? I have a bone to pick with society. Everyone always says, oh my God, you gave birth, da, da, da. But no one ever tells the dad, good job. No one ever tells the dad that. Like technically, I gave you the kid. If I didn't have sauce all over my face right now, I would have just what said some comments. What comment? No one ever tells the dad good job. You guys carry it for nine months. I give you that. All credit, 100%. But all I'm asking for is a little pat on the back and saying, you know, like, good job, dad. Thank you. For what? For putting in that work and making it happen. For being a hornball? How? It takes two to tangle, baby. I know. All right, then. So if I was being one, you were being one, too. Not even that, but you don't have to go through nothing. Understood. And I give you guys the credit 100%. However, the dad put in some type of work, too. Where's the effort? Like, where's the, the sticker for the dad that says, good job, dad? What? What? Mm -hmm. What? What? You got something to say? <laughs> mm -mm. All right, then. What's our next topic? There was something else we were going to talk about. What was it? I don't know. I'm asking you. Buying a home? I don't know. Do you want to talk about that? Mm -hmm. The process of buying a home. When we moved here. We wanted to buy a home. We wanted to buy a home straight up but like it's so hard to actually find a good home that you're like in love with i think that's what's hardest for me God. <laughs> that's disgusting oh i'm sorry miss i burp loudly whenever i'm around you what do you mean you always burp loud don't come at me talking about that's nasty yeah but like private not i like... think you burp more than i do well we just found out i have gastritis so that's why <laughs> You always got something to blame it on, bro. <laughs> bro, um, gastritis is a big reason why you would be burping and stuff like that. Okay, so why do I do it from the opposite end a lot? Bro, because that's because you like to eat porqueria. Like this morning, talking about beasting to get McDonald's. Bro, honestly, all right, I wanted to do this mukbang with McDonald's, like 40 nuggets each, but she didn't want to do it. Mm -mm. It hurts my stomach. Yeah. What? Tell them what you tell me. What I tell you? Say it, and I'll tell you if I say that or not. Oh, why don't you just grow a pair? I never tell you that. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? I thought you were going to say like, oh, gastritis is a myth. I thought you were going to say something like that. That too. That I do be saying just to get under your skin. I never tell you when you're in pain to grow a pair. Any, no. What? what do you mean? I'm saying, oh, I don't want my stomach to hurt. You'd be like, oh, grow up. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So <laughs> there we go. I say it jokingly though, guys. I don't actually tell you like, yo, you need to He's grow lying. up. Like, are you serious? You're gonna put me on blast right now, yo? Are you seriously gonna lie to them? Yeah, but you always, he always says it. And Bro. there's always a little bit of truth to I'm kidding. So you really just want me to just deal with the uh, discomfort so that you can have satisfaction of eating McDonald's. That's exactly what it is. So shut up and stop acting like you're innocent. <laughs> Bro, why are you going so deep into this? It's not that serious. You need mm -hmm. to grow up. Mm -hmm. uh, yo, how much I paid for this? Mm hmm. Because three tacos went by real quick. Mm -hmm. We should have did four. This is what I get for listening to you. Bruh. You said three, and I was like, you know what? Let me do three. I'd rather have like five or six. Really? Yeah. Damn, son. Mm -hmm. I, I maybe squeeze five. That's, that's this is a light snack, but I'm still going to have to eat after this. What do you think, though? How do, how do they taste? Mm, I think that they're good. Would you go back? Yeah. Me too. Definitely yeah. better in Jersey, though. No, yeah, Jersey got it. Mm. What? That's what we were going to talk about, how we miss home. Oh, guys, we're moving back to Jersey. We forgot. We should have started with that. Mm -hmm. We're moving back. I'm dead serious. Mm -hmm. So do I. I hate Florida. Mm. Yesterday, I went to the backyard and I was watering my grass and a crane just came up to me and pecked my back. Started wrestling when I'm grabbing them by the neck. Why do you keep looking at me for confirmation like I was there? Bro, you were there. You were on the, you were over here on the couch. You were looking at me through the window. You were tapping on the window like... <laughs> <laughs> rooting me on like I'm, I'm a movie. I need help. His beak is like this long. They're gonna think I'm lying because you're not agreeing with me I am. I'm just saying that all really happened. Oh, yo, you see I was about to say <laughs> I was about to say you real and then you go ahead and let them know that it's a lie I didn't say anything. I just looked at them. Hold on. Don't let me suck my fingers <laughs> 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 Yo, I can't stand you Look at you hear him sucking out on fingers. Shut up. Bro. How your fingers taste? 
Good, they taste like wine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, in all seriousness, we're kind of homesick. <clears throat> You're homesick, I'm not. Okay, I'm homesick. And the reason why is because like, whenever this happens, I, I always hate when I'm in Jersey just because of the cold. Like, if it weren't because of the cold, I would- That was hot sauce. Yeah, I was using it this whole time. Son, I forgot that was there. It's really good too. Well, thank you for telling me. All I got left is a spoon. Bueno. And a lime. Eat it. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Um, yeah, but I just feel like in Jersey, we had like a routine going and I don't know, like I found, I guess a nice like, what? Why are you looking I at me? I you are gonna say something dumb. Like, How am I gonna say go something ahead, dumb? What, what, go ahead, what are you gonna say? I was gonna say, I found a nice routine with going to the gym. We did have a good routine. And having like a good meal prep place, like their food was so good. It was all right. I prefer Compared, our meal. I, I like our meal prep now way you're more. You're bugging the buffalo chicken wrap, seriously? Bro, it was good, but like compare all their meals Compared to these people, all their meals. Like, these people have way better meals for the whole week. I don't. I compared don't to just one over there in Jersey. I don't know. I just prefer, like, the food in Jersey. What I in miss general. About, what I miss about Jersey is, I, I just miss, like, Jersey had, like, a rugged feeling. Like, like that. Like, a, like, a, uh, like if, I had, if Jersey had a sound effect, it was like, uh, I feel like Florida is, like, everything's all, like, nice and sweet. Yeah, everything's so, like. Everything's so Slow, calm and chill, calm. and it's like. Like I'm sometimes gonna... I miss the chaos. I miss yeah. like crackheads coming up to the car and be like, you "Give miss, me your money." You miss the crackheads coming up to yo. You remember when the crackhead came up to my car in KFC? Mm -hmm. Talking about you have a nice car, man. You got. I was like, bro, I got a, a regular Honda Accord at the time. <laughs> like you saying it like I was driving a Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Like dang, bro. But appreciate that. But yeah, man, I miss the crackheads too. Yeah, that's it. That's the only thing I miss about Jersey. Just like that rugged feeling. Like that. Like I said, like that. Ugh. For me, I like miss my friends, obviously. Our friends need to come down here and stop being scared of the cranes. Not even that, but like, I feel like you, I mean, your friends are different. Your friends always came through for you. I feel like there's only one person at the end of my, like, you know, before moving that I was just like, okay, like, I'm really gonna miss you. Wait, who's that? My cousin. I could say it all out. Oh. Asia. I was about to say, you spilling tea right now. I don't even know the tea. Yeah, Asia was the only one that I was like spending consistent time with. Like You started chilling with her like literally like a month before we were like we leaving. And I was just like, bro, that, that was a bad thing to start. Like, I know. You're going to miss that. I definitely do miss it. But like we still talk all the time. We keep up with each other. But other than that, like my best friend. But we still like talk all the time too. 35, yeah, 35. grams of sugar? Uh-huh. That's why I said no. It needs to be 40. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just a little homesick, not gonna lie. I miss baseball over there. I think yes, that's, that's baseball. the thing I miss the most was going to the batting cages every week with my boy, my coach. Mm -hmm. Um he probably not watching this, but shout out to you, bro. I miss you a lot. <laughs> yeah, man, that's it. That's that's really all I miss about Jersey. I'm pretty much done. And your family, damn. Obviously, I feel like that goes without saying, like No. Bro, everybody knows my mom is over there, my sisters, and my mom is pregnant. A lot of you guys ask about my mom's pregnancy yeah. and all that. She's about to pop. All right, she, she looks like a damn blimp. Like, I kid you not, she walks into someone and it's over. Yeah, we can't wait till she gives birth. Well, I'm excited. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna cry. Really? And I've never cried with my sisters. Cause but it's because I was younger. No, I was younger, so I really didn't like understand like the whole meaning of everything, but it's different now. Mm -hmm. And it's a boy, finally, bro. And he's gonna be born around the time of your birthday. Yeah, I know, I know. We're gonna be close in birthdays. Yo, the parties in the future when he's like legal is gonna be crazy. Bro, you're gonna be like 50 years old, relax. You're gonna need a cane. Relax. <laughs> okay, so? What do you mean, so? I can't get down if I'm old and wrinkly, like? No. Not with your 20 year old brother. Why not? They're gonna, he's gonna be like, can you go somewhere? Bro, you're gonna be, his friends are gonna be like, yo, your brother's lit, bro. No, they're gonna be like, is that your dad? No, they're gonna be like, yo, I thought that was your grandfather before, but that's your brother, yo, he's lit. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Bro, you know I'm a fun time when I'm lit. You know I am, What's don't crazy? even lie. What's crazy, think about it. Your brother and me, our future child are gonna be around the same age. All right, don't say it like that. Cause when you say that's it like that, it, it gets weird like that. When that's you, what I'm saying though. It's I blame weird. my mom, it's my mom's fault. <laughs> she just needed no one to stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, that's it. You got anything else you want to talk about? No, that's pretty much it. This is kind of like where my mindset is at. Or you didn't really even say anything. I mean, I, you came at me saying that I'm not ready to be a dad, and I am. <laughs> and then you came at me saying I don't miss my mom, and I'm like I do. I did not say you don't miss your mom. That's basically what you said. 
No, it's not. I think well, you didn't mention why, that you miss your family. Well, that's what registered in my head, so that's what's gonna stay in there. Well, I'm sorry that you have a terrible mindset on how you think of things. <laughs> I do have a terrible mindset. My mindset is bad. But anyway, yeah, I'm done. I mean, I really like this video. I like talking about updates with life and stuff like this about you guys while eating some banging food. Shout out to all the Mexicans out there. This is fire. Shout out to you, Jay um, Leonard. <laughs> Where shout out to her friend Jay Leonard. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see more videos like this, let us know down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys do want to see another video like this. What food should we do next? All right, we kind of just bought this on the whim and it was good. I don't regret it. Um, with all that being said, it is not time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Emmanuel Sanchez. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys want to post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn your post notification bells on to be notified whenever we post a new video. With all that being said, we will catch you in the next vlogmas video